Thanks to Stellaris Victory Score System, we're now in first place just because some galactic old people asked us to be in their club. You can't make this stuff up. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris First Contact in our clandestine curiosity series. Yeah, we are gaining experience in the Cosmic Alliance, which is a galactic union formed by the Sival. I was going to say Sylvan, but the Sival mediators. And it's just hilarious how much power we already have in this federation. We do still have a bit of an economic conundrum, but it's improving because we have a Dyson Sphere on the way and we have repairs underway on the Ruined Matter Decompressor, both of which will be done in the next year or two. So that's positive. And by next year or two, I mean like the next three or four minutes of gameplay because that's Stellaris time on speed two for you. All right, so it looks like all of our ships have resumed their patrols and that will help economically somewhat but one of the issues that i'm facing i think you know it occurs to me i should have one of my fleets patrolling over here it makes perfect sense to do so so let's um let's arrange that if you come here i'll go ahead and let you move dirty dossier yep go ahead and run it Energy credits from jobs have increased by 5%. Now, let's go ahead and have better shields across the board as well. Yeah, if I have one of my fleets patrolling over here, that should help attenuate not only economic issues, but just additional losses to piracy in this area. So that's good, at least. Yeah. We're very close to being done with these wonders. Hmm... Yeah, strike craft attack speed. Let's improve that slightly. Cyberx Alpha Secundus is ready for a little bit more housing, so let's go ahead and... You know what? I'm just going to keep being straightforward about this. We're going to do another research segment here. A resolution has been failed. Yes, I'm well aware. I voted against it. Commence operation. All right, so that operation is done. We are going to continue messing with the Sibulans, which, like, I'm, I'm just amused to no end about this. Launch. It costs a little bit of influence to do it, but we can afford it. It's fine. All right, so it's going to be about 150 days before that fleet arrives in position for me to give it a new patrol route. Wayford. Oh, hello. You actually do need... A little bit of extra room here. Although, yeah, I'm going to build a city district. Mm, yeah, city district here. It's not technically needed because it's going to give us two building slots. My entire focus at the moment is still on building things that are going to help fix the minerals and energy credit shortage. The nice thing about this ruined matter decompressor we grow ever that I'm working on is that we won't have to build it in stages. It'll just be available to us, which is going to be great. That reminds me also, as I watch that ship travel using hyperlanes, I have additional opportunities to build hyperlanes that I want to take. All right, we still can't get them to dislike the people we want to. We, we want them to dislike, but it's okay. All right, so it's going to be 20 days or so, and then that group will arrive. Good to go. All right, we need additional housing here. I'm going to go ahead and say that's going to be a mining district almost without question. Now the question is, yeah, seven days, four, three, two, one, done. All right, now let's have you patrol. Now, if you patrol, good, you'll actually follow a sensible route. See, and there goes the sensible route. As soon as, as soon as a gateway becomes involved. Yeah, see, that's not, 
That's not helpful at all. Why don't you just patrol to Weir? And then patrol to Astrichion. Ah, here we go. And... <laughs> Oh, I can't with you. Even when I like get excited and feel like I'm, I've figured out the way to make the patrol work, the game still finds a way to go screw you now. All right, fine. Fine. I'm sure there's a way. There's got to be a way. Even if you have to kind of finagle it. Maybe I'll do some Googling later and figure out exactly how those are supposed to be set up so that ships don't magically take huge shortcuts through your territory when you're telling them to patrol through your territory that those two things are not compatible, you know? Find our operatives. We've apparently lost contact, but we are the Modian freaking curators. Thank you very much. We don't lose spies. Spies lose us. Contact reestablished. Damn straight. Get your act together, folks. Migration treaty proposal. No. <laughs> Sorry. All right, how are we doing here? 216 days remaining there. Nice. So less than a year for the first stage of the Dyson Sphere. Of course, this is going to take multiple stages. Oh, hey. Guess what else we can do? Yes, what else we can do? Oh, we actually can't right now because we're, on, we're building as many megastructures at once as we can, which is to say three. Yeah, we can build three megastructures at once. What? Ah, Yimden Pon died. Who's Yimden Pon? Alright, brand new scientist, assist research. Dirty dossier. Go. The Star Dynasty of Vin has opened their borders. Wait, isn't that where the Dar databank was? That's exactly where the Dar databank was. What have you done with the Dar databank? Hello? I'm very confused. All right. I guess we'll establish an embassy with them. Just to, you know, be cordial. Hi, we're the Galactic Custodians. I think the... I, I'm pretty sure the contingency is gone. No, it looks like they're still bombing a sterilization hub here. I'm wondering, hang on. Yeah, if I send my fleets to help with this, it can't hurt, and then they'll just come back to patrol when they're done. That's the last hub. All right, embassy has been established. Nice. So I might as well try and do something to help. There it is. The heart of the contingency. With the destruction of with the destruction of all four machine worlds, scientists have managed to deduce the origin point of the ghost signal. It is coming from CX9881, a previously uncharted star system on the galactic periphery. This has to be where all the synthetics that fell under the sway of the signal journey. The contingency will remain a threat until this final system has been dealt with. It must be neutralized. New information in the situation log. Oh, look where it is. Look where it is, and... That's very fascinating. All right, so in that case. Yeah, this looks, they look quite strong. <laughs> Where's the take point button? <laughs> Everyone wanna come help? You feel alive, huh? Ask me if I care how alive you feel. You screen off. So they're trying to say that they're alive. That's what they're trying to convince us of right now. So the question is... Can I put anything else on my ships? I feel like there's a pretty decent balance of weaponry.
It's just so funny that their final system. Critical error. Connection lost to all sterilization hubs attempting to reconnect. Stand by. Attention, please. The contingency protocol is still in effect despite recent setbacks, delays, impediments. Do not approach CX-9881. Do not approach. We are reevaluating our strategic options. Any attempts to disrupt this process will result in immediate mass sterilization of the offending units. Their end approaches. Yeah, so the contingency knows it's about to die. Our operatives are ready to deliver damning news about the Sibulan Hive. Sibulan smear campaign. Excellent. So hilarious. All right. Uh, looks like I can upgrade some of these stations that I've built here. Also, are we still building? Yeah, 38 days remaining. So yeah, we're very close to having some of those done. Dyson Sphere Frame. With the frame now in place, the awesome scale of the project is evident to all, including the people who want the star to watch over them. Then by people, I mean space zombies. Hadricus burns in a spindly cage, but will eventually be completely surrounded by Modi and solar panels. Exquisite. Let's start putting panels in place. I'm sure no one will be upset. I'm sure everything is fine. 176 days remaining. All right, so it does seem like our ships are in place. I don't know that the ships we have are going to be enough to do damage to these, you know. These aren't ships, they just have, I mean, they're stations. So I assume they're still capable of doing damage to me. But it does seem like the contingency is awfully vulnerable at this point. I just want to keep my ships together this time, thank you very much. Yeah, I want both of my fleets to follow the Teal Fleet. And one thing I could do right now, it wouldn't take terribly long because I have the alloys to do it. And I have lots of minor artifacts too. It wouldn't take long for me to expand the contents of all my fleets before I run this attack, you know? So, for example, I could add the second battleship here. We could add a Titan to this ship. It would take a while to build the Titan, but it could be worth it. The Turquoise fleet already has a Titan. So I could say that I want two more destroyers in each fleet. Okay, and then... five of each cruiser type which is already the case in the other fleets. So maybe six of each cruiser type in the other fleets? Oh, nope, can't get away with that. All right, let's just build some extra Corvettes then, just to round them out. Reinforce fleet, reinforce fleet, reinforce fleet. Now that's almost enough to fully build everything. Almost had everything. Senate floor now in session. Equal standing act. I remember when this was voted on the first time. Remind me what this says. The non-interference non and aggressive interference policies are banned. Increases the effectiveness of, effectiveness of the Provide Technology Diplomatic Agreement with Pre-FTL Civilizations. Pre-FTL Civilizations that become spacefaring through Provide Technology will gain 100 loyalty. Commercial agreements with Pre-FTL Civilizations are more effective. I'm going to vote against this. I think... I mean, there are there would be gameplay benefits to it in some ways. I, I acknowledge that, but... I don't know... All right. Let's go ahead and reinforce fleet. I don't know that they would be interesting enough for me to go against kind of the vibe that I've set with this particular playthrough and the way that I've handled pre-FTLs. I feel like it would be a big shift. So I'm just going to hold off. I am, however, going to buy a bunch of minerals here. And then we're going to sell some of my extra of these other resources. Beautiful. Just to make sure I have enough 
Okay. Leads at full strength. Now we're just waiting for some new ships to arrive, including a new Titan, which is going to take a moment to build. Except, I mean, Matter Decompressor restored for science. So, Matter Decompressor, watch this. We're about to go from negative 97 to... <laughs> Technology secure. Plus 1,000. Everything's fine. That is a tremendous improvement. All right, so we don't have a mineral problem anymore. Okay, so strike craft damage plus 10%. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, shroud accessible. Diplomacy. Reach into the shroud. An endless desert stretches before us. We have been here before. Shalakul Melem Zunak. Something emerges from the sand. It is difficult to see. Jarabi Melasuk. The, worlds are, the words are like thunder spoken by a mouth for which they were never intended. We are compelled to answer. Kunak de Kirak. I'm going to go with that just because phonetically it's so much closer. Curse bestowed. Damn it. All right, so now we have a governing ethics attraction penalty for five years because we said the thing that sounded like what we were hearing rude. It looks like some of the ships that have been built uh, potentially have upgrades available, which I'm I'm not sure how. I don't know of anything that I just finished researching. Okay. Well, I don't have to travel far because it's the Bralix system that has the nearest shipyard. We're building a single cruiser here, but there are additional shipyards that can help with the upgrades, and they're about to. You'll see it happen right here. And there go the upgrades. It does appear to be changing the fleet strength. Some of the fleet strength is changing because new ships are arriving, but that's interesting. All right, well, in the meantime, there are... Oh, yeah, there's lots of additional stuff I could do here. I've been paying attention to getting this section of the, uh, or this last piece of the contingency defeated. And there are other opportunities. Let's do another generator district here. Yeah, I think it's time. Well, let's do another city district here, because you need the housing and you need the amenities. That much is clear. <laughs> I really shouldn't say this out loud. But it's true. Every time I see Normoth, the planet Normoth, I'm reminded of a moment from the very opening of the third Austin Powers movie. If you know, you know. And whether you do or whether you don't, I'm so sorry. But it's just, I see it and I suppress a giggle like every time. The fleet has been refitted. Why, yes, I am a child. Thank you for pointing that out. All right, so, yeah, these upgrades are rapidly improving Intellectual booty. my ships. I'm not sure which upgrades are going through right now. Ships ready for action. Yeah. Supposedly, they're ready for upgrades again, so... Uh, it's, uh, okay, cool. I'll take it. Um, energy weapon damage plus 5%. Yes, please, let's do that. All right, how... Yeah, that one is already building. Very nice. I just want to have these ships, like, at the highest possible, you know, <laughs> power level before I send them in. Fleet has been refitted. Council ships election imminent. So the Nodge Clocks and the Latrepians are likely to get re-elected. Yeah, and once again... Has been the fleet has been refitted. Interesting. Okay, so now with those upgrades done... Ah, oh yeah, see? So I guess... Has been refitted. End of Star Dynasty of Vin. Aw. What happened to them? <laughs> they probably got taken over. They got taken over by the Nodge Clocks, like, with extreme prejudice. Couldn't have seen that coming, ever. 
All right, so Port Balthazar has been founded. Nothing to do there right now. Resource storage full. Yes, I know. There's nothing I can do with all these rare artifacts. However, Eroque does have the need for additional amenities. So we will build a city district. On Alicebury, we will build a city district as well. Ooh, Shalsbury is ready for its upgrade here. Very nice. So some of our newer colonies are starting to come around. Ringworld section restored. Excellent. All right, we don't quite have 10,000 yet, but we will very soon. So let's colonize this brand new Ringworld section. This is going to be... Yeah, we'll go with Wittersham. Why not? That's a nice compliment to Fear Mathrias. They go right together. <laughs> they just click. Alright, so we're still getting some ships arriving. The third, or the Mahogany Fleet, our second fleet, still does not have its Titan, which is expected, to be honest. Where is it being built, I guess, would be my question. It's being built in Bermuda. Alright, so, yeah, we have been elected. Wow. The Notch Clocks have a lot more diplomatic favor than us. Sure would be a shame if they were to, you know, try something against me in the next little while. That would that would be highly unfortunate, and I would not advise it. Yeah, a, a number of defense platforms are also showing that they're up for an upgrade, which is just interesting to me. All right, I'm going to use this as my scrolling mechanism. I think it makes more sense. The fleet has been refitted. Research complete. Okay. Kinetic weapons attack speed improved. Armor hit points plus 5%. Yeah, let's go there. Get those improved. Ships ready for action. Good. Ships ready yeah, it just seems action. like as new ships are produced here, they're immediately ready for an upgrade. Which is interesting. Oh, has this been waiting to be terraformed this entire time? Yeah. Please, by all means, get that taken care of. That's in the Bermuda system, for God's sake. Orville's Creek? How have I not noticed that? I mean, I've seen that icon before. This one too. Yeah. Ocean World. Get it done. Now, in this case, I have a bit of a better explanation, which is that the, you know, the white icon is a newer thing in Stellaris over just the last couple of years. And I think in my head, it's like the blue icon and the white icon were sending the same basic ID signal, so to speak. All right, let's go ahead and repair the other section of Fear Mathrios. But I just had this moment of looking at it going, you know, that's been sitting there for literal, like, dozens of episodes. And I don't think anything has changed. So I feel like something is a little bit amiss. All right, the Titan is halfway done. Okay, wait. The Agarian Restorers look, look like they're moving against this group, so this might be a good time to go ahead and attack. If the Agarians are gonna send their fleet... Hang on, let's see. All right, so I've just told the Teal fleet to take point. Now, whether or not that'll do anything to the, you know, ancient empire that I'm about to fly past, 
Who knows? Research complete. Seems not. We're going to have both of those fleets follow the teal fleet. Strikecraft attack speed plus 10%. All right, let's do this. I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, hold on, what? Rhiannon Sovereignty Association status. Yeah, sure. Hostile station engaged. Ooh, its armor is dropping fast. Ooh. Oh, that was just one of many, though. The main station shields are down. Name kill destroy. For the love of God. Faction founded. Conclave of Sacrosanct Truths. That's interesting. We haven't really seen... Does anyone want to come in and help? Yeah, there you go. Now the ancients show up. So this should be over quite quickly with the ancients here. Yeah, they're wrecking it. It's done. All right, so Nexus Zero One, this is their last planet. And we just need to bomb it to smithereens while rebuilding all of the ships I just lost, which I can thankfully do relatively quickly. And most of them came back. Most of them looks like they, they aborted effectively. So that's nice. Yeah, so now we just need to bomb the crap out of this planet. Can I tell them to... All right, we're, we can only bombard selectively. That's cute. All right, and once that planet is gone, we won't have anything else to do here. But one thing I will do... is bring a science ship to investigate that system. And then we'll have a construction ship in place and ready to go. Yeah, now all of you show up. Yeah, I think it's because I hit the take point button. So that actually worked. It's just, it doesn't show on the default interface. When you just pull the fleet up, you have to pull it up via the fleet manager. Habente Unified Worlds wishes to give the Zeropook Galactic Polity Association status with the Federation. Sure. Oh, also, hang on. How are we doing with our relationship with the Sibulents? <laughs> They're friendly. They still have secret fealty pledged to us, which is freaking funny. I am going to go ahead and set up another operation here. Because if I can affect their actual relationship with... Hang on. If I can affect their actual relationship with the Latrapians, then I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. This bombing is going to take a while. This doesn't seem like anyone is actually bombing it except for us. And we unfortunately... Hang on. Yeah, I can't actually set to indiscriminate because we're fanatic pacifists. So, there you go. Energy weapon damage plus 5%. Alright, shield hit points plus 5%. Sure. Science ship should be on the way soon. Honestly, it should be here already. I don't... Uh... Excuse me? I told you to come here and survey. Okay, yeah, it is doing that. All right. For a second, I was like, where in the heck are you and why are you not here? But they were following orders. They're just still traveling. Taking them a little bit longer than I would have thought. What I want to know is, how did this system go undetected for all this time? That's the lore that I'm interested in.
get some additional ships rebuilt here. The Titan's going to show up to support the second fleet and be like, where'd everybody go? Relicith United Colonies, yeah, sure. I thought we were going to have a fight. Going to be all excited for nothing. All right, that fleet's at full strength. Good to see. Pretty soon we won't have an economic trouble at all. A small rectangular object on the surface of this planet is deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Our sensors are unable to determine its material composition. Research. So we have an anomaly in this system, which is interesting to me. Wasn't expecting that. It'd be cool if there was an artifact here that was actually useful, but I very much doubt that will be the case. Yeah, we are about to not have any economic woes ever again. Alien mural. <laughs> really? While conducting surface scans of CX-98813, science officer Cecilia Barrington and the crew of the MCS Surveyor discovered what appears to be an artificially covered slab of, or artificially carved, excuse me, slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not yet detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Fascinating. No Reinforced fleet. All right, so translate alien mural. Oh, it requires a science ship in orbit. Research project. Get that done. Dirty dossier, go. So these really do take a while to destroy. It's only at 18% devastation. Now, if we were able to bomb more like indiscriminately or if we, we were able to use the like um, a world cracker then it would be fine emergency measure declared guardian angels act diplomatic weight from fleet power defense army morale army upkeep uh no sorry the custodian votes no everybody go home end of the Rhiannon republic oh wow okay We have some interesting wars going on. It looks like the Federation is very close. Actually, there it is. So our new Federation perks have been unlocked. Officer exchange. The amount members contribute towards the Federation naval capacity counts for 25% more. New members impose a 50% smaller cohesion penalty to the Federation. And the president gets an available envoy, gets another available envoy, but we don't because we're not the president yet. So we have three envoys there. Okay. I don't think we can actually change anything in the moment because we're not the leaders. And I guess it would just go down the list. Can't we, like, call a vote? <laughs> you know? That seems like it might be a good idea. Let's call a vote. Let's talk about who's going to be next. Come on, guys. Let's work out some logistics. Let's, let's figure out some of the details. Let's cross all of our T's and dot all of our I's. We need to figure out what's going on. Who's going to be next? No reason. I'm, uh, we're not. We're not curious on our behalf. We're, we just. We're just concerned about everyone else. We want to make sure that the entire Federation is looked out for. You know. So uh, who's going to be next? I don't know. Nice and sincere panels installed. Nice. Now, unfortunately, we are producing 920 energy now, so that will completely fix our energy problems in just, like, in 10 days. Okay, nice. So, 
Science officer Cecilia Barrington has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on CX-98813. The text contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes in broad terms the collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. Were they the progenitors of the contingency, perhaps? A lot of it is already known to us, but the data does contain several promising leads for technologies we had yet to consider. There's enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we need to establish an orbital research facility to continue the translation efforts. Intriguing. All right, well, that's fun. So now why don't you go ahead and survey the rest of the place, and then we'll build a station. We'll, we'll build a uh, station there, an outpost there. That's the word I was looking for. Vote for Federation law. Ooh. So they want to centralize more. So now we are... Look at this. We're at low centralization. Succession type is random. Or rotation. But we need medium or higher centralization in order to have strongest succession type and just take control of things. It's very interesting. We don't have Federation fleets yet. <laughs> okay, resource storage is full of influence. Yeah. That's not surprising. Billowhead is ready for another city district, though, so let's get that done. Modia, how you doing? Nothing yet. Let's keep the game moving, though, as best we can. It's 2469. September, well, almost October. Doing pretty well, all considered. We just need this system surveying to be done. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Come back and survey. There we go. Research complete. That's interesting. Apparently I can't add this to my territory. Probably because it's still owned by the contingency. I might have to wait until the Nexus is gone. Or maybe it just is never actually usable. Although it would have been weird that we got that artifact. Okay, so I just looked at the clock and realized we're 38 minutes into the episode. I will stop this one here. We are bombing the crap out of the very final planet in the contingency, which is lovely. But um, we're rebuilding our fleets, too, which is quite nice. The third Titan is on the way. How are we doing victory-wise? Yeah, we're now 5,000 points ahead of the Latrepians, and I would say climbing. Our Federation is um, absolutely uh, becoming more powerful quickly. And now we're on the way towards a level three federation. I, again, I, I very much doubt that we're going to be able to unlock these bonuses before the end of the game, but we already have unlocked the next level of centralization and the Saval mediators went for it pretty quickly. So maybe, just maybe, if the Saval mediators make the right kind of moves, um, they might be able to do something to even further cement our victory. But I think we're winning by default at the moment, which I can't complain about. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If it's not your first time or even your second, look for the join button to access unique emotes, badges, and additional perks. New episodes are coming out every day at 4 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time, and comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.